everyone welcome back to the part 7 video of open source llm brag in this video we will deploy our llm application that was built using langchain stream and streamlit in our previous video so let's imagine why do we need to deploy our app so whenever you are building an application in streamlit you are just running it on a local host and you can't share it with anyone else who wants to use your app this is where you can use streamlit cloud that can help you host your streamlit application for free until certain usage so now what we will do is there are few changes that we need to do in our part 6 video uh, the code base that we wrote in part 6 so let's quickly open our code base so this was the code that we wrote in our previous video so there is one change that we need to do we can't expose our api key when you are de deploying your application that's where we use streamlit secrets obviously you are able to see my key now but once this video ends i'll probably delete my key uh, so now what i need to do is i need to use streamlit secrets so that is st dot secrets and you can give any name any name that you want uh, so whatever name you give you just have to keep in mind that you need to provide a value for this variable that is your secret variable when you are deploying your application so i'll just use again face again face access token so this will be my secret uh, variable that i want to use that's it this was the only change i uh, i wanted to do and it looks good now now what i need to do is whenever you deploy your application on streamlit it requires a dependencies file this dependencies file is nothing but your requirements.txt so now what i'll do is i'll just create a new terminal uh, and whenever you are building with any application you are supposed to create an environment uh, virtual environment i just hope you have created a virtual environment let me quickly create a new file which is requirements.txt and initially my requirements.txt will be empty so as you can see it is empty i need to add the values in it the value that i need to add inside my requirements.txt is the dependencies file and how do i get my dependencies it is pip freeze a uh, greater symbol and requirements.txt so now what will happen is whatever you have your libraries installed inside your virtual environment is pushed into requirements.txt so in order to verify we'll run the uh, command again which is cat requirements.txt okay sorry it was wrong it should be actually uh i gave a wrong symbol it should be like this now if i do cat requirements.txt as you can see it is able to display the entire libraries that is required to run my application so even though we just used langchain community chroma db and uh, what else did we have we had streamed it but this three particular library had other dependencies as well so it will install all those things but you can mainly focus on chroma db langchain community and streamlit so once you have this you need to open your github account you need to open your github account and you need to create a new repository so let's quickly create a new repository you can also deploy a private repo in my case i'll create a new repository and i will make it private so i'll just write part 7 llm video so this is the part 7 video that we are doing in uh, open source langchain series and i'll give the description saying that part 7 ai with tarun video and i'll keep my repository to be private so that it will give you the clear understanding that you can also deploy a private repository and read me file it's fine i'll just click on create repository now that i have created my repository i need to push my files so what i'll do is i'll clone my repository i will clone this and i will do git clone and i will paste the url so it will clone the repository and when i do ls as you can see you can uh, find part 7 llm video so this is my uh, particular file which is part 7 llm video 
I'll get inside part seven LLM video. I'll clear. So as of now, as you can see, it only contains readme.md. So we will add our uh, files. So let me add my files and get back to you. All right. So I've added my files. And now if I do LS again, as you can see, I have DB. Uh, DB is nothing but Ikigai book, which we had indexed. Those index file is contained inside DB, which is our persist directory. And we have requirements.txt. You can do cat requirements.txt. It will tell you all the uh, dependencies that you need to install. And again, if I do ls, as you can see, this is my app.py and you have engage.py. So these are the files that I need to do. And now what I'll do is, so these are the files that we need to push to our GitHub repository. I'll do git add dot and git commit. I'll just tell deploy blank chain app to streamlet and I'll just do git push. All right, so I pushed my application. Now, if I come back to my GitHub repository and if I reload the page, as you can see, you have app.py, you have engage.py, you have requirements.txt, and you also have DB. Now, what I need to do is I need to open share.streamlit.io. So once you open an application, you can see this particular dashboard. And once you come to this dashboard, you need to click on new app. And you can see the new app in your top right corner. Click on new app. And whenever you log in into share.streamlit.io, make sure you connect your account with your GitHub repository. Since I've connected my uh, Streamlit with GitHub, I will directly use uh, whatever repository I need. And our repository name was part seven LLM video. And once you select your repository, branch by default is main and your main file path is app.py. So you can just write app.py and you can come back to your app.url and you can write whatever name you need. In our case, I'll just write chat with PDF. I'll just write chat with PDF. It seems that anyone has already taken this application. So what we'll do is we'll just write chat PDF. Let's see if it is available. All right, it is also taken. All right, chat with Ikigai. All right, so Ikigai is available. Chat with Ikigai is our uh, URL name. One important thing that you need to notice now is you need to click on advanced setting and you need to set your secrets. So as you already saw in the previous part of this video that we used streamlit.secret to add our uh, Again, face access token. So we need to use the same variable that we used the same variable. So I'll copy it. Hugging face access token, copy this variable as it is. Once you copy it, come back to the uh, streamlit dashboard, click your variable again, face access token, and you need to assign a value. So what was the value? I'll come back to my again, face.co and I will copy any of my access token and I will paste it here. So this was actually my access token. I'll copy the last one and you need to paste it here. So once you paste this, just click on save. Now your streamlit.secret is activated and you can go ahead and deploy your application. That's it. That is it from this video. And it's very simple to deploy your Streamlit and Langchain application. And obviously we are not gonna end this video here. We will test the application until it is ready. So we will wait for two to three minutes until our app is up and running. And once it is ready, we'll come back again. So all right, folks, we were able to deploy our application, but we ended up into an error. And obviously I don't want to leave you guys with an error message. So we will solve this issue together. There is an issue with the dependencies that you can't use Chroma DB when you have a SQLite version of, uh, I mean your SQLite version needs to be more than 3.35.0. And when I was Googling out this particular discussion, I saw one of the approach that we can use. 
and that approach is we need to add pi sqlite 3 binary to our requirements.txt file and also we need to add these three lines of code in our app.py so let's quickly do this and let's see if it works or not so let's get back to our code so as you can see i've already added pi sqlite 3 binary uh, as mentioned in the description so based on the discussion, I've already added PySQLite 3 binary. And in my app.py, I have also included the three lines of code as mentioned. So I'll come back to uh, Streamlit app. And what I'll do is I'll just reboot the app. And let's see if it solves the issue or not. And we'll come back again. All right. Finally, we are able to deploy the app. And the issue was obvious. We just had to include whatever was mentioned here. And you can again check out this discussion and I'll provide this link in the description. The only issue that was we're facing is dependencies between Chroma DB and SQLite. And it was solved by adding PySQLite 3 binary in our requirements.txt file. And this three particular statement in the top of our app.py, you can verify it again. So as you can see, this is my app.py. I've added these three lines of code here and requirements.txt file. I've added PySQLite 3 binary. So that's it. That's it from this video. You can just go out there and play out with the deployed app. Uh, so as you can see, it's working. I'll just write a prompt. What is Iki guy about? So let's check the response. And obviously it's gonna work because there is no issue now. And as you can see, we are getting the response. Ikigai is a Japanese concept that roughly translates to the happiness of always being busy, so and so. And I'll share this particular so and so. I will also share this deployed link with you so that you can ask any queries related to Ikigai. If not, you can also upload your any PDF and you can also chat with that PDF. So this is it from the video and I hope you are able to deploy your application and make sure you comment your deployed app so that even I can try out. Anyone with better app will get a goodies from AI with Tarun side because we are very soon hitting 1000 subscribers. Until then do subscribe and like this video.